Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a video which I am going to cherish for a long, long time. This is my Premier League commentator debut alongside Burnley Football Club for not just a normal commentary, but most importantly, one of the best games that I've seen in a long time as a Burnley fan. This was an absolute incredible game and I am so proud. This is the day afterwards and I'm so happy just even looking back at this. And I want to say thank you to every single person um, on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, absolutely everywhere for your kind comments. This is more for my own kind of enjoyment to, to, to kind of look back on this moment and hopefully I could get this opportunity again. I, I thought I did really well. Tell me your thoughts down below. And of course, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel you turn by. So shout out to them. Cheapest and most reliable coins on the market. Go down to u7buy.com. Link is down below in the description. And make sure to use code VISA at checkout for five. So I'm just going to introduce it and then let it all flow together nice and well. But in this current moment, I was kind of just trying to play it cool because with Phil Bird, I was trying to say to him, but um, we didn't have much time. But you know, I see him as like the voice of Burnley Football Club growing up watching him. It was an absolute honour, an absolute honour to be even sat next to him doing this job and. And I, 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 don't, I honestly, I couldn't believe it. I was just trying to take it all in and not get overwhelmed at the occasion. Being so close to the players and to the media team and being in such a, a professional area, I'm kind of not used to it. I'm more used to dark fruits and such as rolls. So, yeah, you're going to see me try to um, just kind of bed myself in, try and be as nice and calm and collected and really just try to be as, um, as laid back as I can and not tense up too much. So, tell me down below. What do you think? And do you think I did well? I know that on the highlights, I went quite mental when we scored. And that's just a Burnley fan in me. Next time, I probably won't be as 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 loud and as mental. However, it was a massive game for us. So I kind of just... The, the emotion just came out and it meant so much for the lads. So, yeah. I will see you guys on another video. And enjoy. Old Trafford on Tuesday. Pleased to say, special guest. Visa is alongside me. Liam Waddington, how are you doing? How you doing, Phil? Um, I get the emotional stuff out of the way, straight away. Um, obviously, honoured to be here for today's game, especially if we give this magnitude. And I think I'm the youngest person that's been on comms camp. Could be. I feel like I got some, Could be. I've got some sort of responsibility, I feel like. You so, may um, well be. You may well be. It might be a record. <laughs> Andy Hodgson's with us as well. Always good to see Andy in these parts of the world. And what have you done with the weather? Uh, first of all, can I dispute that you're the youngest person to do this? <laughs> I'm only 28. Well, it's it's a big one, lads, isn't it? You it sense is huge, it, you know, it could be a season changer. Definitely. I mean, I feel like compared to previous years, this year feels a bit more frustrating because it feels like we've not actually got any words at all. Honestly, I think we've played really well at times, and sometimes it's just, you know, that one moment, that one chance, and uh, we've not got the number of the green at times. So I still have complete faith. I've come to this game with absolute confidence that this is a game that we can, you know, we can get stuck in with these lot. We can get, I, you know, I think this is a monumental month for the season. Just quickly for a couple of minutes, we'll speak more in detail at half time. Your YouTube career has been absolutely magnificent, hasn't it? Um, to this day, I still can't really believe where we come from, really. Um, I just kind of just did it as a, a bit of a hobby, a bit of a, a coping mechanism from where I was back at high school. And um, I've been a Burnley fan since 2005. My first game back in 05 against Plymouth for a at home. And ever since then, you know, my family, my brother was a Burnley fan, my oldest was a Man United fan. So yeah, all right. it was either pick one team, which I could see once a year, you know, for like a cup game for United. You've picked the right one. Yeah, sadly, go game in, game out, back <laughs> in the championship. and. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world, me, and I'm very grateful for you know, anyone that's watching on YouTube and uh, you know, to give me this opportunity here to be with my local football club. Yeah. I can't and you've got followers like all over the world. Is that, is that Burnley followers, gaming followers, or a bit of both? I would say it used to be majority Burnley, but over time, I think it's diverse. However, the, my main proudest thing that I've done, my most proudest achievement, is that every time I do a video about Burnley, I always see comments down below. People from America, people from India, people from Australia saying that, you because of you and your video, that you know, I've got either a soft spot for Burnley or I've become one myself. I find myself, and that, yeah. that for me makes it all worth it. Yeah, uh, and you're living in Poland these days, so yes. you're, you're not seeing Burnley quite as much as you'd like. Oh, I, I'll be honest, like, don't tell my missus, but I'm absolutely like, I'm really missing it. It's just uh, for me, it's not the result, it's just the experience of going home and away with your friends, especially yes. the away games, just on a coach from 
seven, no, not seven, that'd be kind to me, four in the morning from Burnley or from Newcastle and just going across the country. And the result of secondary, just having a laugh with your friends and those memories is what I yeah. can advise to absolutely anyone. Yeah, it's, it's a br brilliant club to follow, isn't it? It's a fantastic club to follow. And even my lifetime, we've been right down at the bottom. So, you know, I've of seen course. just about everything. And on the next whistle from Kevin Friend, we will be underway. Here we go. Massive game in Burnley's season. Trying to stab it inside. Fantastic Lennon getting towards the break. Ball in, headed behind. Another corner. Good from Burnley. This is fantastic so far. Of Bright course. start, isn't it? I must say, we need to start the way we did against Liverpool. We are doing that so far. I've only seen Brownhill already get stuck in three times and coming out the better of each time. So we need to keep this intensity up right now. Absolutely. And it's McNeil to take it this time. There's Roberts, wins the throw. I feel like the, Good tempo, isn't it? the defensive prowess of Jack Cork, I think, I think will be very important in this game. Just try to break up play in the mid. Him and Brownhill are both, what you could probably say, is the best defensive man of place in midfield. And that will be a massive point. Because they've only won like three, four times already. I think, to be fair to Dwight McNeil, he wants to play. But I think he's got a preference for the left-hand side, Liam. Oh, yes, I feel like that's definitely his best position. His, uh, his ability just to run down the bio line and still somehow get across in the box is fantastic. I see a bunch of Ivory Coast fans and Netherlands fans in the way, and so fantastic job off them. Very good, fantastic. very good. We, we, we love uh, a player which you know, looks like they love the club. Corner, I saw him at uh, an game. That's right, last yeah, week. we were there that night, yeah, yeah. Roberts, edge of the box. Oh, nice. Dummies the cross, Luton's got a ball in oh. here. Oh, he's in the bar. Keeper might have got a touch. Peels for offside against Corne. You need variety. You, you need variety with the way that you move the ball. And with that, that's an early cross and just trying to catch one of, one of their defenders out. I remember the 3-1 three, three years back with the Barnes just kind of threw it, just kind of in the middle of nowhere. And we went through on goal and Chris Wood scored. Yes, so yes. sometimes it's the ones that don't expect. Oh, Great touch that. from Veghorst to help it on for Corne. Corne trying to find McNeil. Corne? It was a sublime Corne. touch from the Dutchman. Corner Burnley. I mean... I think initially when he came, everybody thought back post, big striker, Peter Crouch yeah. type. He isn't that, is he? He wants to come and collect the ball. Well, I mean, in terms of your know, signings last we've seen years, you would say and put a good case for Vegos being one of the most you know highly reputable in Europe. Twenty goals in Bundesliga. Yes, yeah. You don't do that and be a bad striker. No. McNeil was strong, knocked over the free kick. Again. That was strength from McNeil, wasn't it? It's Intelligence, got his, got his body between man and the ball, and as soon as he fell, a bit of a torch, just like easy free kick, simple as that. Yeah, it's smart yeah. play, smart craftsmanship. That is Collins for, for Lennon. Lennon helps That's out brilliant. on. It's a great ball oh for Roberts. God. He'll get there. Hooks it back inside Vegas. Yeah! What the hell? He scored oh for Vegas. Oh he needed that. <laughs> what a goal that is. What a finish from the Dutchman. Fantastic from Val Veghorst. Hey. Burnley lead at Brighton. Brighton hey. of Albion nil. Burnley won. Say it. Het is gewaldig. It is magnificent. Yeah. Absolute credit to Aaron Lennon. You just, again, just over his shoulder. He knew where Roberts was, and that is an incredible. If Kevin De Bruyne did that ball, he'd be hearing it for weeks. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And what a finish. And yeah. he's off the mark. I'll tell you who he reminds me of, uh, Edin Dzeko. Not just a shot, but the, how it all kept together. Brilliant. And here we go again. Here he is again. Yeah, Veghorst trying to help it on for Corne. Corne turning one way and the other. Lays it off. Finds Lennon a little bit ahead of him. Lennon will have to retrieve. He's got Roberts for support. Roberts will whip this in, will he now? Looks to get a cross in. Looking at that near post. Headed away. Corner. Corner. I tell you what, Incredible. Burnley have started so well here. I told you. So to this game, I feel like this, there's Ghost. something in the air. That maybe it's the weather, maybe it's a storm. It's a perfect storm so far for Burnley. I, I think we've learned how to play without that ghost. Yeah. Playing Peters there, isn't there? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> you can see Peter's face. He's yeah. got a, a grin the size of the stadium. He loves that. I've never seen so many triangles. I saw Solisi, collateral. It's everywhere. Scaling. It's fantastic so far for us. Plenty of triangles down the line. Peters fancied he could fantastic. get that. Peters is very underrated in terms of his defensibility. He's, defensively, he is fantastic. It's a strong, strong, strong lad. As a wide performance as goal this season. I mean, this is this is. Yeah, I mean, there, I thought we played. I thought we played really well at Southampton. We played well at Leicester. And Lamps is away here. Lamps to get the cross in. Decent one. Head a wide. It's the best chance of the half. Great work from Lampty. And in the end, Lalana with a diving head wide. Their best chance of the half. Yes, best. For Brighton so far this game, especially a bit fortunate for the likes of Jack McNeil. Great ball in the box, so much space. That's an upper header there for Brighton, and uh, from here I thought that was in. From this angle, that looked very well on target. Not much in that at all. No, there isn't. Burnley fans singing No Name Never from the way end. We can hit them loud yeah, and proud. Yeah, it's a good following, isn't it? It's not an easy trek. 
Oh, bit of pushing and shoving from Duffy into the chest of his keeper. If the referee's seen that, even on your own man. <laughs> really? Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, absolutely. And Corne's on the chase, battling Advantage. away here. Vegos could win it, he's got support. Yes. That goes to touch it on. Here's Brownell in the box. Brownell trying to yes. get his shot away. Yes. Brownell! Come Turn on. up for the Clarence! Brownell's got it! His first goal in the Premier League. Come Josh on. Brownell with it. Brighton nil. Burnley two. And Josh Brownell has got it. Might have got a deflection, but he's going to claim it. Brighton nil. Burnley two. What a good time to score. That felt like an eternity when the ball left his foot. The <laughs> ball felt like it rolled for about 18 years. That is astonishing. Absolutely no idea what happened there. Andy, let's, what's your thoughts on that? Let's see the replay. There is disarray in uh, the Brighton the camp was. here. That's Look at the away end right now. Oh, it's Love buzzing, that. isn't it? Love Burnley that. have waited for this sort of half, haven't they? Oh, oh great ball from straight in, man! The best part is that you can't look at this and say that we've been unfortunate at all. We absolutely deserve this 2-0 lead right now, I say. Yes, yes, I think we certainly deserve to be ahead. Gets in the box, does he? Lennon's Ooh. getting back at him, gone down. No, no penalty. Ref. Waves it away. They might be looking it on VAR. Love that from you, ref. Great call. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a bit of a YouTube <laughs> phenomenon, aren't you? I, I, I like to stay humble with it. I, I, I'm not really. I'm just a, a lad from Battleford, really me. Um, I'm Burnley fan since all five or six, as I said earlier. My brother was a Burnley fan. He took me to games, and I, it was either Manu or a Burnley. I got given Manu shirts, Liverpool shirts, for my mum's side, and. I had to pick Burnley as I could go week in, week out. Yeah. I'll tell you, the, f the first and only game I've ever cried at for, uh, for Burnley was uh, Pavlyuchenko in the semi-final against Spurs yes. at home. Yeah. I've never seen atmosphere like it. And that, that game is what really set me to just make Burnley just my absolute passion, and I couldn't wait to get to the next game after that. I mean, it could so easily have gone Burnley's way that night. Your favourite player? I don't need to ask that, do I? Dean Marnie. <laughs> Oh, he Marley. was fantastic for us, wasn't he? Oh, I remember the time, you know, watched going games and it was uh, like, Dean Marnie, Dean Marnie uh, chance. Yeah, he I was mean, like a bit of a cult was it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. But of Dean Marnie, of course, I, I would have met him once. He was a, a part of the channel and uh, people seemed to love him. I, I didn't really mean it to be the, what it ended up being, like a massive part. Yeah, yeah. what have you got planned in the weeks ahead? Um, for, for, for Burnley? For, for, YouTube, for YouTube, you know, for your uh, followers, come on. Um, Let's into a secret. I mean, I mean, more personal side of things. I've got, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting married this year. Yes, that's right. I knew that. I knew that. We wish you well with that. Yeah, thank you very much. Got a little one living in Poland and um, just enjoying life over there and just um, just seeing the world a bit and just seeing what's, um, what else is out there. And your little one. How's your little one? Oh, she's absolutely amazing. Brilliant. Of course, a Burnley fan. I've bought her home away and third kit with Lily in the back. So Yeah, we've seen plenty of pictures. She's great forced. pictures. Absolutely yeah. forced to be Burnley fan. I don't care if she doesn't go games as long as if someone asks her who you support is Burnley, that's all I care about, really. <laughs> That's all good. Right. Good. Why she's at the house. Good. She's she's choice in everything else apart from who she supports. Yeah. Good on you. Good on you. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Here's Rodriguez. Boots for him. He's holding off Basuma. Basuma trying to have a dig at it. Lennon with a chance. Yes. Aaron yeah. Lennon. <laughs> Three 0 Burnley. Aaron Lennon. What a finish. Burnley. Surely he earned it in a way drought. What a finish. Boys, what did I say? Do you want to rub the jacket now? The yellow jacket of luck is here, my friends, and not since Fulham. <laughs> We won wow. The yellow jacket brings us three. Kiss my jacket, gentlemen. What a finish. No, go on. Let's see the replay. Long, long way to go. I have no words. Honestly, I'm... I'm... <laughs> But they've played well, haven't so they? So happy. See the referee this, and it'll be a Burnley uh, ball. But they've played well. We deserve this. We they? deserve this. Not just for today's game, but of course the length of the season. We know what we can do. We know how we can perform. And this is, it just right now I feel like the 17-18 season, the, the Proudsville. I feel so proud right now. Like this is what we know. This is what we can do. And Burnley are, as of right now today, Burnley are back. Well, the second half, that did appear to kind of come out of nowhere. We've had the odd transition or two. But Lennon, fantastic piece. I think he was just weaved through one or two, just very quick succession. And what a finish. I've it's a great finish. Duffy back into the middle. Colin <laughs> uh, Vekos, just calm as you like, just took it on his chest to have, and smashed it away. To have the confidence of chest oh, inside we... the box. That's unbelievable. Oh, and good pressure falling. from McNeil and Sanchez has slashed it into the stand. Here's Basuma, good challenge, Vekos. Fantastic. 
Morgan, he's three on three now, as Burnley drive, drive forward, Brownell looking to take them on, can he get his second, he's got deflected, and Burnley are there, there's an offside flag oh. against McNeil as he turned oh, he to celebrate, that. I think he, he knew, that. I think he knew he was offside, he but they'll have a look on VAR, they'll have a check on VAR, but again Burnley have opened them up. Well Dwight E would have deserved that goal, we're going to check now if it would stand or not, speaking of Burnley fans, they can hear them chant earlier saying, they, can we been, play every week? They have been magnificent, can we come to the annex I think every week, because we're unbeaten in six now here. I'm seeing Vegor still run at almost 100% the entire yes, time. Yes, I think he's alright isn't he? I don't know how he can still do it, I came in with absolute full positive vibes, okay, I knew that there was something in the air today. They've Maybe given storm, absolutely but... everything, haven't they? Brighton has felt like I kind of seen that we can get one over, can get stuck here, make them feel uncomfortable, and that is a sad what's happened today. Tottenham have lost a couple of games at home recently. I know Conte with the there's a few questions on potentially his future right now. Feels like the perfect storm for Spurs, and hopefully, you know, touch wood. We play like this against them. We have all the chance in the world. Absolutely. They've won here at Brighton by three goals to nil. A real performance on Sean Dyche's 250th Premier League game in charge. And we, thanks ever so much we, for we joining us. We, we deserve this. We deserve Excellent. this. Excellent. It was a great Thank result. Thanks ever so much for joining us. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you on Monday with the eSports. You'll see that on all Burnley's channels. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Just to remind you, that's a 7.30 kickoff. Burnley against Tottenham at Turf Moor. I'll be there for that one. But the news from the Amex is good. Brighton nil, Burnley three, Veghorst, Brownhill and Lennon with the goals. Goodbye from me.